we can fix it na bara bara kabisa uh, leo ikiwa ni siku maalum ambayo tumeweza kukita kambi katika shule ya upili ya Moi Kazonzo girls ambapo uh, wanafunzi mbalimbali mbali wameweza kukusanyika hapa kutoka sub county ya Kaloleni ambapo leo ni ile siku maalum siku ya mashindano ya kisayansi na tuko nyanjani ili kuweza kuhoji wanafunzi kuhusiana na project mbalimbali mbali ambazo wameweza kukuja nazo ungana nami mwana habari wako Raymond Muru Fix TV we can fix it um, Fun is uh, favor the principal of Moika Zonzo Girls by God's grace. We are delighted this wonderful day, the 21st of uh, March 2023, to host our Kaluleni Sub County uh, Science and Engineering Fair, KSEF. Uh, I think and I want to believe that uh, it is very good for us to encourage our students to actually come up with projects because according to the world we are living in currently everything is becoming digital and if you really want to succeed you must have ideas that can turn into projects so we are very delighted to welcome everyone who has come to be with us in this great celebrations i call them celebration because if projects succeed i know it can bring a lot of rewards to our students thank you you as the host of this science fair, what are, are the challenges you face uh, as the organizer? Because you are the organizer, uh, as in you host some school which and are in Moika Zone right now. What are the challenges you face on organizing this event? Uh, not really major challenges, uh, but I would wish to say, you see, like now half term was to begin on... Um, on 16th through to 19th and then we were to pick up classes on 20th which was yesterday but now when i realized that i decided to let my students remain to school up till saturday that is when they went home for half time so that i could create room for enough for all the projects to be displayed by the sub county well because you see if also our students and our sub county also do well in the science and engineering fair it will give our sub county a good name so you see now my students are still at home so they'll have to come back on the 23rd so maybe that's the major challenge otherwise for the other the other i cannot really talk about the other challenges because we have the organizers who are standing in for ksf in this sub county thank uh, you fine fine uh then tell me uh what are the benefits of this science fair uh, I'd wish to say, just like I said when I was doing my introduction, is uh, that, uh, you know, in the current world we are living, everything is, is becoming digital and uh, I think we are going the project uh, way of life. So it's good for us to allow our students in their young age to come up with the projects. And you know, these projects can actually be well-paying even in the near future. So I think science and engineering is something that is very crucial, especially to to our students. And more so, you know, we are diversifying now as a nation. We are moving from 844 system to CBC. I think we have already uh, begun with JSS. We have the first lot in, in place, uh, domicile in, uh, in some of our primary schools. And when you look at, uh, at uh, CBC very well, even in, in, in the lower grades currently, it needs students to get these things at their fingertips. Whichever thing they're learning, whether it is on science, whether it is music, you know, these are things that they are supposed to do naturally from, we are using their own hands. And I think this will actually be a blessing to our nation because uh, for quite a long period of time, we have, we have not, you know, we have been hiring labor from outside the nation of Kenya. So I, I think if the government will insist on CBC and also insist on the science and engineering fair, then we will be making our own roads, we'll come up with our own match, uh, match boxes and this many other things that we're importing from other nations. Thank you. Uh, how can you advise a parent who has a student, maybe uh, he has a certain project, uh, maybe in terms of support thank you uh, that's a very critical question i just want to encourage all parents who are listening to me whether they are my f colleague teachers or they are just ordinary parents to support their children you see when you give your ch your child support in the projects that they have maybe you encourage them maybe you stay with them late in the night to ensure that their projects are running up and well it's for your own good 
Uh, you know, in the current world, it seemingly it's like every parent is very busy with their own issues until they leave their children just stranded. And now, what is the next generation carrying forth for us as a nation? That's why I want to encourage all parents to always be there to ensure that their children. Uh, their children's projects are are, are are well supported financially, morally. Just encourage your child. Even if they go at the sub-county level and they don't move to the next level, just encourage them because maybe after they finish from four, because that thing is within innate within them, they can actually produce very big projects that can be uh, rewarding to them uh, as individuals, uh, also to the family and even to the entire nation of Kenya. Thank you. Thank you very much and welcome. Hi. I do. Uh, kindly, can you introduce yourself to the camera? What's your name? Uh, which school are you from? I'm Laura Jeffa. I'm from Miani Secondary School. Awesome. Uh, kindly tell me what is the aim of the gathering today? Uh, the aim of the gathering today is it's about science fairs where the students are doing some research and coming up with their own projects. After school, what else are you planning to do? I would like to be a journalist. Uh, awesome, thanks. My name is Baraka Juma, and I'm coming from Moreni Secondary School. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us uh, what the aim of this gathering today at Moi Kajonzo Secondary? Our uh, I main aim, um, the, the thing that have made us to gather in this school is the science fairs. Okay, then what are the challenges you do face as a student on come up with a project? The challenges is that some schools lack the facilities to conduct such project. For instance, in our school, we lack many facilities, uh, and uh, main project may may be hindered in uh, such activities such as the science fair. Yeah, they will be hindered to enter in the the competitions. Okay, thanks. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Anagi Babdala Ramadan. From which school? I'm from Moreni Secondary School. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us about the benefits of this science project? Yeah, I think the science project has a very a variety of benefits. For example, as you can see, we are young students, so like our knowledge is expanded with these science fairs. Like if you grow up, you can think of something that can bring like a future in this country. As we know that like the other countries have just developed, developed like the China. The USA countries, they develop from these young science projects. So for us, it gives us an idea of who we could be tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, remember, this is Fix TV. It's an online session. You get us at YouTube at Fix underscore TV, Facebook at Fix Media KE, on in Instagram, sorry, at uh, Fix TV, and on TikTok at Fix TV. Remember, this is Fix TV. We say Fix TV. We can fix it. Okay, thanks. They can fix.